the Exynos curse is dead. For years, that statement would have been a joke, a fantasy for Samsung fans outside of the United States, but today it's a fact. A new leak has just been revealed and it confirms our wildest expectations. Samsung didn't just catch up to Qualcomm, they blew right past them, and we have the numbers to prove it. So this is a story about how the Snapdragon 8 Elite just got beat by one chip that nobody thought could do it. Now, before we look at those numbers and prove it, some people are going to be curious about what that Exynos curse actually is. And it was the ugly secret of the smartphone world. Samsung would put a superior Qualcomm Snapdragon chip in its flagship phones for markets like the United States, but use its own in-house Exynos chip for countries like Europe, Asia, and a few other regions. This was a big deal because for nearly a decade, the Exynos version was the inferior one. It ran hotter, it drained more battery, it lagged in games, and you paid the same thousand dollars, but you got a worse phone. It was the ultimate lottery for many of us, and most of the world lost. How did it affect those people? Honestly, it shattered trust. Every year we had to wait for the benchmarks to see just how far behind the Exynos chip was. And now, the waiting is actually over because the new benchmark doesn't show a gap, it actually shows a reversal. Here we have it. This is a Geekbench score for the upcoming Samsung Exynos 2600 chipset the chip destined for the Galaxy S26. And look at these numbers. Over 3,300 in a single core and over 11,200 in a multi-core score. It's finally nice to see the latest chip from Samsung able to actually surpass the best that Qualcomm has to offer. Many would say this is a public declaration of war from Samsung's chip division. And hey, if you're happy to see Qualcomm finally getting some competition, then do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We live for moments like this, and it'll be interesting to see what the response is like. The Exynos 2600 is beating the Snapdragon 8 Elite by 13% in its single core, and a crushing 17% in its multi-core score. So for now, the student has become the master, and the curse is officially broken. From launching your camera to rendering your video, the Exynos is, at least on paper, the more powerful chipset, and it'll be really interesting to see it in action. Now, to understand what a stunning turnaround this is, you just have to look at where Samsung was just one generation ago with the Exynos 2500. The 2500 was fine. The Exynos 2600 is up to 38% faster than its own predecessor. And it signals that Samsung may have just fundamentally changed its entire approach to chip design. So many of you are gonna be asking, what does this mean for the Galaxy S26? And even for you. Honestly, it sounds like it means the end of that lottery. It means the phone that you buy in London or Sydney could be just as fast, if not faster, than the one sold in New York. For many of us, the curse will be officially dead and the parody or even superiority, is finally here. It means that you can stop worrying about which version and actually get excited about the phone itself. Samsung is finally betting on its own team and it looks like that bet is about to pay off. So now that we know that the curse of the Exynos slow CPU is dead and buried, 
But let's be honest, the real curse was never just about speed. It was also about heat generation and terrible battery life. So it's going to be interesting to see if Samsung has solved those issues as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and enable that notification bell too, so you know the exact moment that we learn more about the Exynos 2600 chipset from Samsung.